Welcome to part two of our History of WABC Jingles documentary, originally heard on Rewound Radio. Jingle time, jingle time, it's jingle time on Rewound Radio. Beginning with the Jet Set Jingles, the WABC vocals were recorded in Dallas. This was made possible because Pam's made a deal with AFTRA and made sure all of their singers joined the union. Of course, the only time sessions got reported was when Pam's was singing for New York, Chicago, or Los Angeles, because the cost of reporting every session would have made jingles unaffordable to most radio stations. That's because after regarded the word jingle as meaning a national commercial, they didn't understand about station IDs until years later. It's a jingle party. As the WABC Pam's relationship continued, sometimes the station would have an idea for a theme. Other times, Pam's would make jingles featuring an idea they came up with. They'd sing the jingles for WABC, and if Rick Sklar liked any of them, he'd usually change the lyrics and use the resung versions. The idea Pam's had for their next package, Series 28, was Happiness Is. The idea was that the station would make you happy, but as you'll hear, most of the jingles WABC used from this package didn't include that word at all. Well, there was this one. Happiness is a thing called WABC. Now here's an example of a Rick Sklar modification. The original version of one of these Series 28 jingles, which was intended as a morning jingle, sounded like this. Good morning. Good morning. Everything looks great when you open your eyes with WABC. A nice enough jingle, but Rick Sklar said, can we add Glennie to that? Glennie, of course, the lady who sang high up with the trumpets on Series 27, the jet set. Rick really liked that sound and really liked that effect. So he wrote different lyrics to the jingle, and Pam's added Glennie to the track. It came out like this. Great singing. Great swinging. It's, it's, it's heaven, it's 77, W-A-B-C. You can hear the difference immediately. 77, W-A-B-C. And since Glennie was added sort of as an afterthought, most of the stations around the country who bought these jingles did not have Glennie on them. She was not uh, on the music track that was used repeatedly, but it certainly added a lot to the jingles. Anytime is a great time on WABC. And for the first time, Series 28 had some jingles to promote special types of music on the station. The solid gold specials coming down the track on 77 WABC. Since the WABC DJs were still the All Americans, after all, the station wanted to have some jingles referencing the American spirit of 76, meaning 1776. Independence Day and so on. But the station isn't on 76, it's on 77. So in their case, it had to be sung The Spirit of 77. The Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit of 77. Revolutionizing American Radio. And in this jingle, notice that the W isn't sung, it's played by a harmonica to make the clever lyric work. This idea of replacing the W with an instrument would resurface in the 1970s. Get the spirit, 77. It's as 
This package also included a few instrumental jingles. After years of singing the 77 WABC every few minutes, everybody knew what that melody meant. And of course, there was this one, which was often used leading into the news. Makes the week go fast Makes the weekend last and last W-A-B-C Let's move ahead now to 1965 and Pam Series 29. Let's go, 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 go! So what was the fascination with the phrase go-go? Well, the first discotheque, the Whiskey A Go-Go, was established in Paris in 1947. It had nothing to do with what would later be called disco music. Discotheque was a French word which meant a place people would go to hear discs. Go, go, go. Discotheque became a term used for night spots where you could dance to records rather than a live band. In 1958, the first Whiskey A Go-Go in the U.S. opened in Chicago, That was the first real American disco. But then came the franchised versions, including the one in L.A. The Sunset Strip Whiskey A Go-Go opened in January 64, just a year before this jingle was made. That club did have a live band and a DJ spinning records, and it was also the birth of Go-Go dancers. You know, girls in boots and miniskirts dancing in glass cages above the dance floor. So soon there were Whiskey A Go-Go franchises all over the place and everyone wanted to be on the Go-Go. In New York it's the one 77 WABC on the Go-Go. You can already hear that there is similarity between the tracks in this jingle package And the Jet Set, Series 27, first of all, it's sung by Just Guys. Again, uh, you can hear Glennie singing up with the brass on some of these tracks. But there was another added ingredient, too. A lot of these tracks had very, very intricate and fast-paced background vocals going on underneath the singing. The vocals were done by either Just the Girls or a, a small group. So, for example... Listen to this cut. 77 so I went back to the original master for you and I pulled off just the background scat track that you can hear behind the guys singing 77 WABC. Here's that jingle with just those background vocals. So, outstanding vocalists. That's all I can say about that. Pam's was blessed with some really, really outstanding vocal and arranging talent in those days. Go, go. 77 WABC. Now, the Go-Go theme really didn't have anything to do with discotheques, really. It was just about wanting to be on the go, and uh, everybody was racing around being on the go, and Go-Go was kind of an in term. The Miracles had released a song called Go Into a Go-Go, which was about the whiskey a go-go, but those phrases, those terms, all of those Go-Go references were definitely what was going on in popular culture at the time. The All-American Go-Go Teams on 77 WABC You'll notice it's still singing about the All-American Go-Go Team, 
Just because this is a different package doesn't mean that WABC abandoned its slogans from earlier packages because All American started with Series 26. We're up to Series 29 now, and we're still the All Americans, so those lyrics are still in the jingles. Now, that particular jingle that I just played was made famous on the station after Dan Ingram had a little double speeded fun with it. Thank you. You should uh, slow that down sometime and, <laughs> and listen to Dan. It's fun. And he mentioned all of those famous DJs that were on the station at the time. Series 29 was really the first one that had jingles for the DJs. He's a go, go, Bob Dayton, 77 WA. Well, everybody was a go-go on this station because the package tried to fit the go-go connection in to every jingle. 77 WABC Makes this hit to Go, 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 go Sounds of the early space age. Wherever you go, go, go with 77 WABC And everybody was go going right up until weather time. WABC's weather break. Go, go! Even the weather was go, go. This package also had some interesting novelty cuts in it, including this one, which was known as the Yosemite Sam jingle. That's one of several novelty jingles that were done through the years by Tommy Loy, who was actually a virtuoso trumpet player and worked at PAMS as a recording engineer at this time. Series 29 was one of the first packages that had dedicated DJ jingles in it, but WABC wanted more jingles to highlight the various personalities, the various DJs and their shows. And so... Pams went back into the studio and recorded some additional cuts, which were not really made part of Series 29. They were done in the same style at about the same time, but these were specifically made for WABC and their DJs. Go, go, Cousin Brucey! Go, go, Cousin Brucey! Go, go! Babaloo, a go, go. Babaloo, a go, go. Seventy-seven WABC. Go, go! Here he is, Herb Oscar Anderson. Herb Oscar Anderson, the morning man, had actually been on the station before it went top 40. So he was a very established voice in the market, and uh, he continued on doing the morning show even into the top 40 era. Some of these Series 29-style DJ jingles were, in fact, themes. They were beds designed to let the DJ say hello to their listeners at the beginning of their shows. Of course, since the DJs always spoke over them, you never got to hear the entire bed by itself. But we can fix that now. Let's start with the one done for the all-night show and Charlie Greer. Go, go! Charlie Greer! With Radio Go, Go! WABC! Go, 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 go. 
And we can't leave out the most famous one of them all. WABC's Dan Ingram. Go, go, go! Dan Ingram had a character he did in those days called Pronto, kind of a takeoff of Tonto from The Lone Ranger. Politically incorrect now, but that's why his theme had a little bit of an American Indian kind of feel to it with the tom-toms and so forth. Another DJ WABC added in the mid-60s was Ron Lundy, who was best known for doing the midday shift, but when he first started, he was on overnight and they got him a jingle for his overnight show. It's the incredibly rare Ron Lundy Nightwalker jingle. Ron Lundy, the swinging Nightwalker on 77. That concludes our visit to the Go-Go era, but the history of WABC jingles is far from over. John Wolford, Radio. We are tracing the evolution of and the history behind the jingles that were heard on WABC Radio in New York during its lifetime as a music radio station. We're now up to the year 1965. As you heard when we featured some of the go-go jingles, WABC was always looking for ways for its promotions and jingles to incorporate what was going on in pop culture. And that was certainly part of the inspiration for their next package from Pam's Series 30. In 1964, Dobie Gray released this song, The In Crowd, which reached number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 in February 1965. Later that year, the Ramsey Lewis Trio recorded an instrumental version, which got even higher on the charts. Pam's promptly assembled its own trio of jazz musicians and produced this instrumental, which, unlike the record, included the piano playing the WABC logo. In the fall of 1965, realizing that everyone now wanted to be part of the in crowd, WABC began using a set of jingles from Pam's called Series 30, The In Set. 77 WABC The In South For the In Town New York First in the U.S. of A As we've heard before, just because a new jingle package was added, it didn't mean that previous themes were discarded. In fact, here's a cut that mentions Go Go, the In Sound, and All American all in the same jingle. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. You're in. You're in. With the All American. 77 WABC. WABC. W-A-B-C. Many of the in jingles referred back to the go-go craze since it was still going on too. 77. <laughs> W-A-B-C. It's a go-go. The in sound for the go-go set. 77. Go-go. W-A-B-C. 
designed by PAMS. The movie What's New Pussycat was described as a French-American comedy, and it inspired a number of foreign-language jingles for WABC, including this one, where the station logo is sung in French. What's in Pussycat? Here's another one with a German flavor. What grabs you, Pussycat? Das gut. In an effort to be different from what had come before, this package was sung by an all-female vocal group, four girls, and because of the Pussycat theme, the group was given the name the Gold Pussycats for marketing purposes, Here's what Pam's founder, Bill Meeks, recalled about that series. Series 30 was uh, the Pussycats, which I thought would be a rather good series. and Still liked it, but uh, it didn't catch on as well. And it had four excellent girl singers on it. And they could do a good job. But the idea of Pussycats, uh, the, the whole world thought that we were being a little bit lascivious and nasty and dirty or something. Or I don't know. At any rate, most of the stations thought it was a little too too suggestive or something, and they didn't buy the Pussycats uh, too well. Well, many stations did use Series 30, but he's right that not too many used the Pussycat-oriented lyrics that were heard on Pam's original demo version of the package. In fact, WABC only referred to Pussycats on those foreign language cuts and changed the lyrics on most of the others. But there was this one DJ jingle for Dan Ingram... But they made an edit to it, and most listeners would remember it this way. Dan Ingram! This was the in set, so obviously all the DJs had to be in. You're in with... Cousin Rosie. He's in! Big Dan. He's on! They all had him. This package also included a novel way to introduce oldies, which most stations preferred to call solid gold records. They're called that because when a single sells half a million copies in the USA, according to the Recording Industry Association of America, the artist is awarded a gold record. A million seller gets a platinum record, 10 million is diamond, and so on. But most people missed the fun aspect of this solid gold jingle, Imagine someone mining for precious metal. They hit the rocks with their pick, bum, and sometimes they strike gold. Ching. Ching. W-A-B-C strikes gold. Ching. Bum. Too deep, perhaps. On a technical note, here in the mid-60s, Pam's and most studios were using four-track tape machines that recorded on one-half-inch wide magnetic tape. Unlike today, where tracks are unlimited and you can literally put every instrument on a separate track and even record them at different times if you want to, Pam's had to have the entire orchestra play the jingle all at once. The rhythm, the brass, the percussion, the strings, whatever was required, they were all in the studio at the same time to record the music track. That meant doing take after take until the engineers were happy with the balance and every musician played everything perfectly. And that took patience. Maybe one of the horns came in too soon. One, two, one. (laughs) Or maybe the slide guitar came in a beat too soon at the very end. One, two, one. Eventually, they'd get the track down and, in a separate session, add the singers. Wow! What a weekend! With 77 W-B-W-B. 